Hello, and welcome to Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. With its wide avenues and cosmopolitan flair, this colonial port city is almost European in character. The city where the emotional tango dance originated in the lower class neighborhoods. What makes Buenos Aires special is that it is a city of distinctive neighborhoods, which all have their own character and feel. Let's dive in. One of the most famous and historical streets in Buenos Aires is the Avenida Corrientes. It runs through the heart of the city and has been a symbol of nightlife throughout the 20th century, with its many tango clubs, restaurants, theaters, and cinemas. A street that never sleeps and is the pulse of popular culture. In the 1930s, it was the place where tango had its golden moment in time. In the 60s, you could enrich yourself with European movies. And in the 80s, when democracy returned, the bookstores and cafes became the places where new ideas were exchanged. Today, it is still the best place to see a play or visit a concert by your favorite artist. Like shopping? On the Avenida, you can also find Abasto, the biggest shopping mall of Buenos Aires. It used to be the wholesale fruit and vegetable market in the 19th century, but since 1999, it is a mall with over 250 shops inside. This neighborhood, or Barrios, is called Recoleta. With its stately homes and plush hotels, it is the most posh of them all. Buenos Aires is often compared to Paris or Madrid, and Recoleta is one of the main reasons for this. It became popular when an outbreak of yellow fever in 1870 forced the city's southern residents to live somewhere else. The wealthier families chose Recoleta because the height of the terrain reduced the presence of insects which transmitted the disease, and they could afford to build on such a terrain. The name Recoleta comes from the Franciscan Recollect monks who had built their monastery here before the outbreaks. Their cemetery near the church has become world famous. Over the years, it grew to the size of a mini village of tombs, which serve as the last resting place of many of Argentina's most influential families and people. Like the beloved First Lady Eva Perón, writer Jose Hernandez, and 26 Argentine presidents, over 90% of the tombs are listed as national historical monuments. It has made this village of the dead a place of pilgrimage. The barrio of Montserrat, which lies next to Recoleta, has been around since 1580, when the city itself was founded. With its central location, it became the political heart of the city and houses some important historical buildings and places. Like this square, called Plaza de Mayo, 